Hi there, it's Julie Davison from Julie's Stampin' Spot. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card in a box. I've seen these cards all over Pinterest in my favorite blogs, but I wanted to make one that was a little more simpler. I watched the other tutorial and I wrote down all the measurements and it just seemed a little too complicated. So I hope that you will um, find my instructions to be a little easier to follow and that you'll give this card a try at home. We're going to start with a piece of cardstock that is four inches by eight and a half inches and we're going to use the um, Simply Score tool. You can also use your paper trimmer and we're going to score it kind of like the 246 box if you've ever made that box before. We're going to score it at two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight inches with the long side at the top. Then we're going to turn the cardstock and we're going to turn and score it at two inches. So what we have is a grid with two inch squares. And then at the very end we have this smaller half inch score line. So we're going to cut on the bottom score lines up to the center perpendicular score line. And then that end, okay, I've cut that little piece off here. And then I'm going to um, turn it around. This piece you're going to keep flat. You're going to put um, another piece of cardstock there. That's going to be the back of the card. And the other pieces you're going to fold down towards you. So here is the same thing. I guess it's just a mirror image there. And I put a little bit of sticky strip on that tab. Here's the piece of cardstock. It is one and three quarter inch wide by three and three quarter inch tall. And then the squares to go inside here. This is the Retro Fresh Designer Series paper. It's one and three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch. Same with the Sew so Saffron square here. So I've got um, the greeting in the middle. That's going to be the front and then the two sides. And then on the back I have... Um, the same designer paper. Okay, so we're going to just fold on the score lines here on the side and put our box card together. Okay, and we're just going to fold, fold that over. So when it's closed, it is a four by four card. And the back is where you're going to write your message. So they'll open it up and they'll see that. And then you can write on the back there. Okay, so here is the, the shell of our box. Now we're going to use two pieces to, to put the things on the inside. So these are um, three quarter inch by two and a half inches. And I scored at one quarter inch from each side. And then you're going to fold them in opposite directions like that. So I've done that with both pieces and I put sticky strip on the outside of those two little flaps and then we're going to put these inside the middle of the box and this is what we're going to attach the cupcakes to. Okay so I've got the sticky strip off both of them and then I'm going to put it down here in the middle and I'm going to kind of get it in place and then I find that Folding it kind of helps to secure it where it needs to go. So kind of just get it into place. And then, oops, kind of a little, you fold it and kind of get a good grip on it there, okay? And this one is going to go same direction with the up and down of the side pieces. Kind of get it into place and then fold it and get a good, nice, good crease on there. Okay, so those are the inside, and they don't go all the way down. Like I said, they're only three quarter inch wide. And then here are the pieces that I've cut. I used the um, Cupcake Builder Punch, so I've got two Tangerine Tango and two So Saffron Cupcake bases, and then two chocolate and two vanilla um, frostings. And I used the um, little confetti, or the sprinkles from the create a cupcake stamp set so that's where I got that one from here's a little tip on um, adhering these together I use my um, stamp and dimensionals uh, paper because the extra adhesive won't stick to it so I'm only doing like half a 
half a row of adhesive on there and then sticking the cupcake frosting on. All right, very well. So now we have the front and I'm going to put adhesive on the bottom of the cupcakes and the, this is going to go here in the front and I'm adhering it inside the card on that little thing. And then for the, the ones in the back, I want them to stand up a little bit. So I'm using a bit of um, scrap paper. I just cut this um, from some leftover there. So I've, I'm going to put the cupcakes on one end and then I will adhere them to the back of that inside flap to kind of give it a little height. Like that. And then it all folds flat like that and fits inside a regular envelope. Who wouldn't love getting a surprise card like that in the mail? I hope that you'll give this project a try at home. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping!